Estrangement has been weighing on me. I felt it was time to come see you. That may be partly true, Daddy, but you always have some ulterior motive. Always. Well, a sneak peek at the all-new episode of Riverdale. Someone from the past makes a surprise visit to town and suspicions are high. It's a special episode tomorrow. One of the stars is also directing. We, of course, are talking about Megan Amick. She's here to tell us all about it. Welcome. It's Thank exciting you. to Thank have you, you here. Yes, Been a thanks big for having fan me. of yours for a very long time since Thank the early you. days of Twin Peaks. So, yes. Thank uh, you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And this is exciting because you are directing the episode yes. tonight. Yes. Yes. It's the third episode I've directed over yeah. the last few seasons. And um, it was really fun because Mark Consuelos comes back. So. Yeah. The, the, I call him the baddie daddy. <laughs> the baddie daddy. <laughs> Comes back to town. Yeah, and you directed a feature film. Yes, yes. Two summers back. ago, directed my first feature film. It stars Julia Ormond and Bruce Dern. Mm -hmm. We just finished Locked Picture as of November, so now that'll start finding its way into f festivals or streaming or the theaters. We'll see where it yeah. goes. But is it different for you when you when you star on a show and you're you know you're playing with your colleagues here and then all of a sudden you're kind of the boss? Does yeah. it does it change the vibe of the show for you? You know, everybody has been very supportive mm -hmm. of me. Um, but yeah, you know, you're you're the captain of the ship. Yeah. You're putting in the hours, you're putting in the prep. Um, but it's just really fun to have that acting background to really get in there and work with people's performances. And yeah. I think that they trust me because I, I know what it's like to be in front of the camera. Yeah, and you've done so many things. I read somewhere that your first role was in Star Trek. Is that true? It is. It well, is. Well, I mean, like, yeah. how, did, how did it come out of the gates and just <laughs> land on Star Trek, right? Yeah, I, I did a little, a little weird little independent film called The Borrower. Had, has a cult following now. Um, but Star Trek, I did the pilot for Baywatch, and then I, and then I uh, got Twin Peaks, and that wow. just, you know. You just, just took off from there? Took off from there. A lot of folks remember you in your blue waitress uniform. I know, Shelly. Yeah. Shelly the waitress. Yes, yeah. yes. So tell me this, uh, acting, directing, but you somewhere found some time to <laughs> I know. work on mm. something very different very, that Don't Mind yeah. Me Mental Health Foundation. Yeah. What got you into this? Uh, my son was diagnosed with bipolar one disorder um, about, it was his freshman year of college, so it's been about 11 years now. Mm -hmm. And last summer, um, he destabilized again, and so we as a family were navigating a very broken mental health care system. And when he destabilized 10 years later, we realized that the system was even worse than 10 years before. And so we had you know, we had been advocating and sharing our story all along, but it was finally time that we said we really want to make a huge difference. So we're a direct impact mental health nonprofit, Don't Mind Me, DontMindMe.org. And um, we have just given our first scholarship uh, wow. this year. And we're just providing pathways and resources for people that are in need and maybe don't have the means otherwise, which, by the way, is pretty much everyone. Yeah, yeah, and the and the system is really struggling to. It's really help struggling. So many young people. Yeah, that need it was help. bad before the pandemic, and it's really, really stretched thin with the pandemic. Wow. Yeah. Well, we'll be watching tomorrow Thank night. You. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to come and talk to us today. Pleasure Absolutely. to meet you. Good to meet you too. And of course, you can find more information about Mei Chen and all her projects by going to our website, kcownews.com, and clicking Scene on TV.